The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers designers who are well focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds whether big, small, established or startup impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites, we give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960 or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention the Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash Mia Mohsen Zia. It's now time for the Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, YouTube, iTunes, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Mike brings you great guests and interesting people from all across the globe. So sit back, relax, and enjoy another great episode of the Mike Wagner Show. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Wagner Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Looking on a professional website without breaking your budget? Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable, custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by Well known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go on through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Widener Show can be heard on the themikewidenershow.com and on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn and more. Take The Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to The Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel and follow The Mike Widener Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with a wonderful up-and-coming actor coming from the other side around Asia, and he's in New York City right now, and he's currently working on a set right now that um, looking at one day is to make it big in the United States and all over the world. He's also had experience with A Place in the Dark, In Case We Get Found, The Black Hole, and he just has a wealth of experience and a wealth of potential, and just amazingly, it's like, you'll, you'll swear he looks like somebody from... 007 <laughs> live from the plus studios and somewhere on the set in beautiful new york city ladies and gentlemen the very very wonderfully talented actor jin ho Wu. jin ho good morning good afternoon good evening thanks for joining us today wow thanks mike that was a great introduction <laughs> uh, thank you so much for having me Jill. well it's great to have you on as well too and of course you know it's great to have somebody that's up and coming with a lot of great potential and one day we might um see you on the big screen jin ho and you uh, you basically uh 
came from the other side and been living in New York City for about oh, since 2016. You've uh, got some experience under the belt with A Place in the Dark, In Case We Get Found, The Black Hole, and it's gotten some really good reviews. You're currently working on some projects right now, and um, you also look like the type on one of them that used to be shaken but not stirred. We'll talk more about that. But first of all, tell us how you first got started, Jinho. Um, started started my career. <laughs> yes, your career. Uh, okay. Um, so I um I started my career um uh, from from 2006 when I started uh, when I was when I went to my undergrad uh, for theater and I started acting there and I graduated in 2013 after six years I mean four years of school and I did two years of uh, military duty in, in Korea. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's our it's our duty as a Korean citizen. So um, I did that, and um, after graduating, I started my career professionally for two or three years. And um, and then after three, two or three years of career in Korea, I decided to learn some. I wanted to learn some more advanced skills in acting, and wanted to um, experience how it is like to be how it is like to be an actor in New York uh, mm-hmm. in America. So <laughs> I. I applied to grad school in New York City, and I got in, and I started, I went to grad school uh, in 2016 um, in New York City, and I graduated 2019, and since then, I've been pursuing my career in, in near New York uh, since then. Wow, that is amazing, and uh, what was that one moment that precisely influenced you into getting into acting and what you're doing today? Um, I think, I mean, growing up, growing up, I was, uh, I was a kid who always wanted attention, you know, like, <laughs> like, like many of us in the social media, you got YouTube stars, you got your Instagram, yeah. TikTok and everything. I know how that goes. Believe me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I always wanted, I always loved making people laugh and entertain people, you know? Uh huh. So then I, in one day, one day, my mom was, I, I was not a good student, to be honest. And, <laughs> and my mom wasn't like, uh, um, like t- asking me, like, what do you want to be? What, like, why are you acting like this? Why do you want to be in the future? What do you want to do for your life? You know? And I was like, huh, I was thinking about it when I was like 14. I was thinking about it seriously, you know, puberty. And, <laughs> and huh, actually, like, I like, making people and entertaining people you know and i want to stand in front of the people you know um what would be a good job to do that and oh maybe i'll start acting and so and so i thought about being an actor from then and and then um i i got into i mean i did a little bit of theater in in high school but i started like really really getting into theater um when i when i was in college and and like when i actually experienced that i just loved i fell in love with it and i just wanted this to i just wanted to do this my whole life and that's how it that's how it started ha huh, that's interesting and who are some of your favorite actors singers and musicians and um comedians since i like to make people laugh who are some of your favorite um actors singers and musicians and um comedians growing up Oh wow! Um, I mean, I do love a lot of um, a lot of Korean actors, singers as well. But um, as of um, as of an American actor, uh, I would say I would say I mean, um, uh, like Robin Williams or Philip Seymour Hoffman, mm-hmm. and you know Al Pacino. Like you know, you know, great actors. I just watching them. It's like it's just. I just admire them so much, and they're so so much inspiring, you know, by watching their performance all the time. Mm-hmm. And, and go, yeah, go go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, and musicians. I'm actually, I'm actually uh, quite a huge hip hop fan, and so so like Kendrick Lama and Eminem, they're they're like my favorite uh, favorite um, musicians. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, comedians. Um, Oh, well, um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really watched a lot of comedies, but um, with stand-up, uh, stand-up um, oh, God, I, for, I forgot his name. I forgot his name. I can't remember his name. Um, who, 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 who's the host of the Comedy Central News? 
I think I know you're talking about, but it doesn't register at this point. I'm sure we'll come up with a name later. So, you know, stand-up comedians, Robin Williams got his start in stand-up comedy. And, um, Mm -hmm. and, and of course, um, you also got the ones as well in America, but, um, but, but, uh, about stand-up comedians in um, in South Korea, like you know, um, you know, how, how many are there, and how many like have 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 gone to big things, and how do you compare the stand-up comedy in South Korea to uh, America from your perspective? Well, stand actually stand-up comedy is not really big in Korea, but mm-hmm. there, but like there are some comedians who are trying to bring stand-up comedy in Korea, like mostly mostly um, most of the comedic stuff in korea are like uh, variety reality shows or or um or like stage stage comedic productions you know mm. that's the that's a huge part of um south korean comedic industry um yeah i mean but certainly there are some people who's who's trying to build the stand-up comedic industry in korea as well mm-hmm and, and- and of course, we'll talk about um, you know some of your works as well too, and also some of your um, films you got into. We'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, listen to the Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow dot com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios dot com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition way. Call today one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. That's one eight hundred three zero three three nine six zero. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known or winning author Mia Motion Z of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon and other retailers available on all formats today. Also, The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on over 30 podcast platforms, including The Mike Wagner Show, Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible. Also, worldwide on Geo7, Radio Public, Himalaya, and more. Coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel. And follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with actor, comedian, and upcoming rising sensation Jin Ho Wu from South Korea now in New York City here on the Mike Wagner show and, and I was thinking about you know comedians that we we're talking about before the break and um what are some of your thoughts on Jackie Chan you know he was very big in Asia as well too and um what are your thoughts on Jackie Chan before getting to some of the movies I mean he's 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 brilliant he's he's amazing you know I I've, I've, I've watched I've watched like all of his movies growing up, all of all of the movies made in Hong Kong and all the movies made in made in America as well. You know, he's um, and like I also have like some experience in martial arts growing up, and so like he's he's one of the biggest action stars in is in Asia. So, so yeah, yeah, and and he has he has great great ability of making like making comedic stuff like alive. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. of course, and of course, hit somebody. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Or, or just I hit himself too. So, and, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and, and, and what was your favorite Jackie Chan movie of all time? Oh, I think I think I loved Police Story series, which was filmed in Hong Kong. I think. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, that was interesting. I think the ones I liked were the uh, Rush Hour series. I think what was it the first one, second, and third with Chris Rock, and I think there was um, yeah, oh. yeah, Rush Hour series. Oh yes, that's right, and I think he was another one too. It was um, before the medallion, and right now we got in the Jackie Chan. I had that answer, and I said to myself, <laughs> "Oh my gosh, it's like I I think I was getting a little psyched on that one." And of course, my my boys uh, started watching Jackie Chan, you know, before they went to school, especially my daughter. And that's how I got into uh, martial arts, just watching Jackie Chan cartoons. I like oh, that. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's interesting. That is. And what kind of martial arts did you uh, study over there in South Korea? Um, I, 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 I studied, uh, Taekwondo for like two years. I mean, that's a Korean martial arts and everyone learns that martial arts when they're, when they're kids in mm-hmm. Korea. <laughs> and I did, uh, four years of Hapkido, which is like, which is more of a self-defense kind of martial arts than like actually hitting someone, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. And I, yeah, I've done that for four years growing up. 
Mm-hmm. And, and then also, you also took some of that, and you also went into the uh, military for a couple of years. And uh, tell us mm-hmm. uh, how you got in the military, and what did you do over there, and um, and then how you got uh, honorably discharged at what position? Uh, um, um, so so um, it's it's all all um, Korean male duty to go to um to do the military service after after when they're like 19 years old or later and um and i like so and a lot of people go to military service during their college like college years you know so and i and i um i I did like four weeks of basic training and I served as a, a public service. Mm, okay. And, yeah. And I did a very, very tough job as a, a parking ticket person. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I can handle that job in the army. <laughs> oh yeah. That was really tough. You know, you know, there's a saying in Korea, you live very long when you get uh, sweared a lot. Uh huh. I probably live a thousand years. <laughs> I was just more thinking probably like sing and um you know laugh for the troops and um y- you know whatever else and then z- since it was considered a requirement do you get to pick and choose uh, what career path you uh you go to and they'll let you in or they just like put you in position and then you serve until um they tell you it's time to go in other words you you'd be di- honorably discharged um with with regular regular military duty services they they put you in positions most of the times I mean, it's, there are some parts that you you apply for it and you go to do it, but with mostly mostly with public services, you apply for a certain um, organizations, and I I apply for this um, this office of district office, and and then and then from there there were like fifty people who p- applied to the this office and they they put uh, they put me in the parking ticket position. Oh wow! Like. Yeah, they find they're finding finding illegal parkings. Oh my goodness! I'm sure I had to write a little joke in there too. It's just like a uh, nice try, pal. Fifty dollars, thank you. <laughs> and, mm-hmm, and, mm-hmm. and 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 then how many divisions were there? And um, and and then what were what were the divisions uh, they had in South Korea? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm... no. I I said there were different divisions, and um, you know how many were there, and what were the uh, divisions in South Korea? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure of that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay. All right, that's no problem. And are there any opportunities for you to um, get into theater through the military in South Korea? Oh, I'm sorry? What was that? I, I said, were there any, any opportunities in uh, theater in, in the military for South Korea? Uh, well, no. Not, so, like, you're you're not you're not allowed to do uh, outside work or anything while you're in the military. So, not quite. Okay. Not quite the, during the military. Okay. All right. And then also we'll um, talk about your adventures in New York City. We'll talk about your films in just a minute. But first, listen mm-hmm. to The Mike Wagner Show at themikewagnershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition line. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Wagner Show, get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, check out the latest novel by well-known award-winning author Mia Motion Zia of No Time for Love called Missing, an extraordinary relationship between two ordinary people based on real-life events that go through four countries, two strangers, and one target, where truth is an illusion and the ones you love will be the first to go missing. Check out the book on Amazon of the retailers available at, on all formats today. Also, the Mike Wagner Show can be heard on the MikeWagnerShow.com and on over 30 podcast platforms, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also on Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Apple, Amazon, Audible, and coming soon to Podbean, Buzzsprout, Pandora, and TuneIn. Take the Mike Wagner Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Wagner Show on the YouTube channel and follow the Mike Wagner Show on Instagram and Twitter today. We're here with... Actor and comedian and upcoming star Jin Ho Woo from South Korea over New York City in the Mike Wagner Show. And um, also um, tell us about uh, your uh, three films. You got A Place in the Dark, where you look like James Bond, In Case We Get Found, and The Black Hole. Just uh, tell us about those three. Yeah, um, so A Place in the Dark was a film 
uh, was a feature feature length film that I filmed right after I graduated grad school. And um, it's about it's about a story of a man who uh, goes through uh, uh, goes through the, the sorrow of the loss of his wife and his child, unborn child, and um, and going through like drug addictions and uh, mental health problems. Mm-hmm. And um, Black Hole was a short film short film um, that was uh, produced by New York Film Academy, and and it was about uh, this uh, brother and sister and a friend uh, finding this hole in the backyard that sunks everything in, and eventually, like the stuff that fell into the hole falls from the sky. Uh, and and in case we get found, I didn't I wasn't I didn't perform in that piece. I actually was a sound on set. It was it was one of the one of the pro- projects that I did with my with my group of people that I work with a lot, and I, sometimes I act, sometimes I work as a crew member, and so and so so that for that I worked as a sound crew of that piece. Oh wow, that's amazing! So you got some work uh, in front of the camera and behind the camera, and it looks like it got some. Um, awards as well at the couch film festival hollywood blood hollywood gold and um also you also earned nomination in the independent shorts the indie short fest indie x film fest and also won a winner in the new york movie award so that was a, quite an accomplishment for you guys yeah yeah it was a it was a beautiful itself a, a beautiful piece as a writing itself and um and um uh with amazing director sarah young did a great job and with performance with amazing performance with um, Tori Ernst, Hyojin Park, and Arnold Trevino. They, they did an amazing, gave an amazing performance. So it turned out to be great. <laughs> yeah, it did great as well, too. And, of course, A Place in the Dark. And if you look at it, um, almost looks like you're playing James Bond in that one. You look shaken but not stirred, or you try not to be. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the... A Place in the Dark film is still in its uh, po- final stage of post-production, so I, 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 I personally cannot wait to see it myself as well. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we're looking forward to it. And uh, where can we find your films at? Um, uh, hmm, that is a good question. I mean, uh, the... the the a place in the dark will be will be will they they are working on putting on, putting it on on Netflix or Amazon Prime so you'll be able to find in either streaming services later on um, um, other shorts um, I'm I, I'm honestly not sure where to find Black Hole but uh, in case we have found um, it's it's working on it's working on um, applying for streaming services but for now for now it's they're just applying for film festivals. Okay. All right. That sounds very good. And also, um, what what, do you, what can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond? And uh, what are you currently working on right now at this time, Jin Ho? So I'm working on this short film um, called Counting, uh, written by Tori Ernst and directed by the director, uh, same director who directed In Case We Get Found, Sarah Young. Mm-hmm. And and this, uh, yeah, this one, this one will also be uh, submitted to. Uh, uh, various film festivals, and um, hopefully it'll it'll be streamed on uh, some pla- uh, streaming platforms. Yeah, I, I am not sure where it's going to be streamed, but a place. Yeah, a place. Yeah, I talk about place in the dark, right? <laughs> <laughs> that that sounds like one of your favorites as well, too. And I'm looking forward I mean, to that. It's so like, it's it's like it's like one of the biggest biggest work achievement that I've made in America. So. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't stop bragging about it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing such a great job. And uh, what else can we expect from you in 2021 and beyond? Um, well, I mm, I'm not sure. I'm. I'll be. I'll probably be working on theater works, film works, as as I will. I will apply to. And um, and I have I have uh, a film a film called Happy to be filmed coming up. Um, we don't have. An actual uh, shooting date scheduled yet, but it'll the, the film shooting might happen um, sometime sometime in 2021. 
Um, so a lot of things are up in the air at the moment. Mm-hmm. And, and it sounds like it, too. And, of course, uh, you said you want to do a little bit of um, stand-up comedy and uh, maybe just uh, give us a bit of update or what you plan on doing on that. So it sounds like you, you'd be pretty good up on stage, although we're in a pandemic right now. You can't do that. But, you know, going to virtual and uh, maybe a little something in the works, possibly. Yeah, I mean, I'm, uh, there might be a little misunderstanding about the comedic part, you know. I, I'm not. I'm. I, I frankly, I don't know if I can say I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm. I'm. I'm a comedic actor on theatrical stage. I say I. I can do comedies and tragical things, you know, more than more than stand-up comedies. I say. Well, it, it's okay. You still make us laugh and smile either way. So once again, we're here with um, actor Jin Ho Wu from uh, New York City here on the Mike Wagner Show. And uh, just a couple of things here. We'd love to have you back in 2021 and beyond. You've been absolutely great. Love to have you back. And uh, who do you consider biggest influence in your career, Jin Ho? Wow, biggest influence in my career? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Are we talking about, like, famous person? Uh, it, it can be, like, you know, just anybody. You can go back, you know, to your family, friends, or, you know... Whoever you watch, you know, who's the biggest influence in your career? Um, hmm, that's a really tricky question. I really haven't really thought about it, but um, I think I think my parents. I think I think uh, it might be my parents. They were they were supportive, but on on the other hand, they were hard, like pretty hard on me. So so um, um, one of my biggest goal is um, like being a proud son for them as 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 an actor as well like professionally i want i want to be i want to be a proud like i want to make them proud Mm -hmm. and you're doing such a great job at jin ho and what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point i'm sorry what what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point oh um well well i mean if you want to do something Never stop working is what I can say, I think. Mm-hmm. And I think that's really good advice. Once again, actor Jin Ho Wu of New York City and the Mike Wagner Show. Jin Ho, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor. Keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And before we go, tell us about your upcoming projects. What's your website? How do people contact you? Where can uh, people check out your works? Yeah, sure. Um, um, so... Upcoming upcoming works, I, I, um, like the film film Happy will be filming next year, um, and this uh, the count, counting that I'm on set right now will will come out in 2021. Mm-hmm. Um, um, you will be you you can find me on Instagram at Jinho dot Wu, mm-hmm. and and I'm I'm. I'm on I'm on Facebook, but I I don't I'm not really a big social media person. Mm-hmm. So, but I do post up I do post my work related posts, so you can follow me, follow my work related posts on those both uh, social media platforms. We certainly will. Once again, Jin Ho, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely great. Looking forward to having you again soon. Do us a favor, keep us up to date. Love you back on in 2021 and beyond. And don't forget to keep in touch. We love to see a rise very soon. All right, thank you. Thank you so much for having me, Mike. The Mike Wagner Show is powered by Sonic Web Studios. If you're looking to start or upgrade your online presence, visit www.sonicwebstudios.com for all of your online needs. Sonic Web Studios specializes in custom web design, app development, social networking, search engine optimization, domain registration, email marketing, online stores, and more. Since our birth, we have been designing and developing immaculate websites and providing web solutions which are a cut above the rest. As a leading web designing enterprise, we have a team of extremely talented web designers who are well-focused and have the experience of working on multiple web developing platforms such as PHP, Magento, Custom WordPress, and more. Sonic Web Studios has been helping businesses of all kinds, whether big, small, established, or startup, impress their audiences with exemplary web solutions. We don't just create beautiful and functional websites. We give you a complete online solution with the main goal of enhancing your yearly revenues. We aim to give your business the online exposure and brand acknowledgement that will help you in achieving increased conversions leading to profitable sales. Call 1-800-303-3960.
or visit us online at www.sonicwebstudios.com to get started today. Mention The Mike Wagner Show and get 20% off your project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Hi, this is Mia Mohsen Zia, also known as Mia No Time for Love. Check out my latest book, Missing, Extraordinary Relation of Ordinary People Based Upon a Real-Life Relationship, available in print and ebook formats on Amazon. Do read it. I'm sure you'll love it. It's www.miamohsenzia.com and www.amazon.com slash miamohsenzia. Thanks for listening to The Mike Wagner Show, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. The Mike Wagner Show can be heard on Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes, YouTube, Anchor FM, Radio Public, and themikewagnershow.com. Please support our program with your donations at themikewagnershow.com. Join us again next time for another great episode of The Mike Wagner Show.